This is question number 14, and it says, given all this information, f of x is equal to x squared plus 12 over x minus 2, f prime of x is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 12 over x minus 2 squared, and f double prime is equal to 32 over x minus 2 cubed, which of the following statements is or are true? Be sure to consider domain. So, um, the first one says f of x has a relative maximum at x equals negative 2 and a relative minimum at x equals 6. So maximum, we'll be dealing with the first derivative. I'm going to set the top, bottom equal to 0. And I can factor out the top and get x minus 6, x plus 2. So I get x equals 6, x equals negative 2. Put those on my number line. If I plug in 0, I know that I'll get a negative. And then I know that they're going to alternate because those powers here are odd. And so I do, it is true, F does have a relative maximum at negative 2 and a relative minimum at 6. So A is okay. Um, B says <coughs> F of X is both um, increasing and concave up from 6 to positive infinity. But we know that it's increasing from 6 to positive infinity. Let's look at um, our double prime. So the only possible critical number we have is when we set the denominator equal to 0 in this case. So we get x minus 2 equal to 0, so x equals 2. And if I plug in 3, we get 3 minus 2, which is 1 cubed, so it's positive. And if I plug in 0, I get negative. So at three or at six to infinity, it is both concave up and um, decreasing or increasing and concave up. So B is also okay. And then C says f of x has an inflection point in x equals two. Well, if we looked here and just here, we would think that that is true. However, it gives us the hint to be sure to consider domain. So that should be a little tip because um, if we look. Back at our first function, we have x minus 2 as our denominator here, which means that we've got a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Therefore, we can't have an inflection point there, so it is um, not C. So our answer is A and B only, which is letter choice D.